my name is Caitlin and today I have something that we haven't done in a while, a hardware discussion. You guys know I love talking about hardware. In fact, there are two things that I love the most, cases and motherboards. And today we have a brand new case from a company that I love very, very much. In fact, the very first build I did for this channel was in this company's case. And this company is NZXT, and their case that I used before was the S340 Elite, which is right over here, and it's blinged out, and it's soon going away and getting replaced with a new fancier case. And it may just be this case that's right behind me. And if you have not already guessed, yes, it is from their new H series of cases. There are three cases in this new H series from NZXT. The H700i, which you see before me, which is a mid-ATX case. It's quite massive. In fact, next to my S340 Elite, you can see the size difference. Now, granted, uh, it's a little bit further away, but still, you can see there is a difference. The second one in the series is the H400i, and that is a mid-ATX case, so smaller form factor, obviously. But then they also have an even smaller form factor case, a mini ITX case, which is literally the most adorable thing. It is so cute. And it's just like this case, but like shrunk down. It's adorable. But today, we are going with the big one, the H700i. So you guys know I'm a big fan of NZXT. They were the first case that I went with for this channel, and I've actually been to their warehouse, headquarters, whatever you want to call it, and the people there are fantastic. So when they reached out to me and they were like, hey, do you want to check out these cases? I was like, yes, of course I do. I wouldn't, there were, I, Nothing would make me happier. So here we have it. This is the all black one, in case you couldn't tell. I know it's kind of hard to see. Once I take off the glass, it'll be a little bit easier. But there are different colors as well. You can get a black and white version, which I've seen reviewed on a lot of other channels. So if you're interested in seeing that one, I do recommend checking out those other channels as well. But there is also a red and black one and a blue and black one. Both are very pretty. I went for a very nice classic black, which when I received it, I was like, wait a minute, I have a lot of all black cases. I need to start branching out more into other colors. But I digress. It is a beautiful case. It is obviously their typical steel chassis. And then my favorite, the tempered glass, because tempered glass just makes everything so beautiful. Literally, it is a night and day when you go from tempered glass to like a plastic case. I I've done some cheaper builds in the past, not too long ago, and they are a big difference. So I haven't really looked at this case too much. So this video is pretty much a first impressions of me looking at this case for the first time, pointing some things out, and just kind of getting a feel for it. I will, of course, be doing a build in this case that's going to come up really shortly. It's not going to be anything crazy or spectacular. No water cooling yet, uh, but that will probably soon come because this may and will in fact become my new primary build. We'll see how the first build goes and then if I do a water cooling in it, in it, which is very likely because I have not done water cooling in NZXT yet, so well, t now is the, the as good a time as any. Okay. So let's take a look. So right off the bat, I notice we have ventilation all along the top and the side. Awesome, we love ventilation. Second thing I notice, four thumb screws. The thing about thumb screws and tempered glass is that sometimes things can go awry and you may end up dropping the glass or cracking it or doing all kinds of things. The S340 Lee, as you can see, if you take off those thumb screws, it essentially is kind of just hanging there. Not the most secure way of holding some tempered glass. It's a little tricky. But I did notice that this case has like a little lip here. So the glass is essentially not on it. It's more in it, if that makes sense. So I'm thinking if I unscrew these, we should be okay. We are okay. So that's fantastic. Looks like you just pull it out. And then we have our tempered glass. You can see that this, oh, this is one thing that I absolutely love about NZXT. And this is just a personal preference. Not everyone is going to agree with me, but I like 
clear glass for my tempered glass. You guys know I just did a water-cooled build in the Thermaltake View 31. That is a beautiful case, a joy to work in. A plus the thermal take. However, the tempered glass is heavily tinted. So if you're trying to make things pretty inside, it kind of subdues everything with that tint. Some people like that, some people may not. Like me, when I wanna show off what's inside of my case. So sometimes I prefer a clearer glass and one that's not tinted. So props to NZXT for continuing to do this. I think there might be a slight tint Maybe not. No, I think it's just clear glass. Sometimes the tint is good with, especially if you're going to do a lot of lighting, because it kind of looks good with the way it buffers the light, but eh, I still like to be able to see inside. Okay, so now we can actually see inside the case a little bit more. I'm going to pull it a little bit more forward. So right off the bat, I see three pre-installed case fans, all 120 millimeter. Nothing spectacular about them, no RGB, uh, nothing like that. So if you want to swap out, uh, swap them out for RGB fans, you can definitely do that. But as of right now, that is not installed. So that means we could put a 360 millimeter radiator here if we wanted to. Then we have our cable management bar, which this is permanent. This isn't going anywhere. So some people like this, some people will not. It's another one of those personal preference things. I happen to love it. On my S340 Elite, I put a little bit of bedazzling on it. Uh, but this time, if I do water cooling in here, this will probably mount where I mount my reservoir. Uh, but we'll see well, where we can fit the brackets. Then of course we have the iconic NZXC PSU shroud that goes along the bottom here. It is perforated here on the top, so we have ventilation for the power supply, so that's good. I don't know if you can see it. It's hard to see in an all black case. Then also on the case we do have a three little SSD drive mounts, and it looks it looks like they attach. They have little um, notches that you can just kind of fit in these holes. So same thing with the ones, we have two on top of the PSU shroud, they have these little notches here and there's a little lever. And this is nice because there are holes going across the whole PSU shroud. So that means you can move these around anywhere you want essentially. You can just take them out like I would not even use them because uh, as you guys know, I'm a fan of my NVMe SSDs, and they go on the motherboard. So to me, these are, are, are useless. But a lot of people like to have extra storage. Here you go. Back here, we do have a 140 millimeter case fan pre-installed. Then, looks like back here, we have a little hub unit that makes this case special. This case has been called the first smart case because it has an integrated smart device that will control all of your fans in your RGB lights, all of that good stuff can be controlled with this little device here. Pretty much just the Hue Plus and the Grid Plus combined. So if you were looking to get either of those two items included with your case when you purchase a case, then this would probably be the case for you because you don't have to worry about buying them separately. It's already integrated. You don't have to worry about it. And the price does reflect that. It is kind of expensive. Some people won't want that. And then I would say don't get this case. If if that is something you are wanting, then this case may be perfect for you because you don't have to worry about those extras. It's already integrated. You also have an RGB strip already here and a plug so that you can add additional RGB strips, which it actually does come with additional ones. So just it lets you it lets you put them wherever you want them to. It doesn't tell you you have to put them in a certain place. The only one that's already installed and is not going anywhere is this one up top. Okay, not the easiest, <laughs> but that's nothing new for me. So on the front panel, you do have a really thick plastic, and I'm guessing this is used for dampening the sound. Other companies use um, like the sound dampening material that's kind of like a mouse pad. This is just really hard plastic. Uh, then we do have a filter here, which I love as a pet owner. Filters are totally necessary. 
And this, yep, this is magnets, like their NZXCS 340 Elite, so super easy to take off, super easy to get in. There's a little notch down here. You just stick it in the notch. There you go. On the back, nothing too fancy on the back. However, instead of thumb screws, we now have buttons on the back, which, yeah, that's awesome. Now on the back, we have some really cool things. Something that I'm a big fan of. However, I kind of wish they had tempered glass on the back instead of just the steel plate because I'm a big fan of making everything neat and wanting some really nice cable management in the back, like really, really nice with some custom cables. Now, this case would be perfect for that because it has all of the beautiful custom routing. You can just put the cables through here, your perfect Velcro straps. I mean, everything is just looks really nice and neat and clean, but once you put on the, the panel, you won't see it. Now, most people, like 99.9% .9 of people would want that, but I'm weird. So on the back, we have all that cable routing. We have two more mounts for SSDs, and then of course we have our hard drive mounts down here along the bottom inside the PSU shroud basement area. So you can see here as well that there is space here. So if you do end up doing any water cooling, you can put the pump down here, you can put Put the drain port, anything uh, that you, you know, you can use this space to your advantage. Uh, looks like we have all of the IO cables in here, and then we have all of the fun stuff. In here, we do have the extra LED strip, so it's nice of them to include that. However, you can probably get one on Amazon. I have to say, I like the Velcro straps that Fractal Design uses so much. These, this is kind of like the cheap Velcro. I mean, it's nice. It's not the nicest though. That is a super nitpicky criticism though. Let's snap this back on. Oh, that's so easy. On the back, pretty simple. We have our ventilation, our IOS, our PSU. Uh, will go in here, it looks like these come off, attach to your PSU and then you slide the PSU with this attachment back on. There's also a filter down here underneath the PSU. Just pull that out and this is perfect also when you have pets, especially if your case is on the floor. It's going to be attracting quite a bit of animal hair or dust or anything. So these are always great because these you can just like vacuum out real easily. So my overall first impressions are it's a very sleek, clean looking case. If you want RGB and fan integration with cam software, then this case is pretty much exactly what you are looking for. If you are not into those things, then this case might be kind of silly for you to get because it just has extras that you would not use or want. So uh, it's just not a case for everybody. However, it is the perfect case for a lot of people. There are a couple things that are not my favorite. I've gotten very used to cases that use rubber grommets for your cable routing. This case doesn't have that. It uses the cable bar, which is cool. It's different. And then up here, you really don't have anything. So the cables are kind of just there. Another grip I have with this cable management bracket is that on the S340 Elite, it would come out specifically over the 24 pin motherboard power cable. On this, it's not really. I would guess that the 24 pin cable would be about here. And that's kind of like in the a weird range of the bracket. We'll have to see when I do an actual build in here, but just first impressions, it's kind of throwing me off a little bit just for the symmetry. Also, if you're doing water cooling, the front radiator might be a little tricky. Honestly, we'll have to test this for sure. And depending on thickness of the radiator that you get, uh, I just feel like right here is where your top tubes would come out if you had the tubes coming out the top of the radiator and that may in fact get in the way that this bracket may get in the way but we'll have to see so we'll test that out for sure so overall first impressions of this case it's a nice case it's clean it's sleek it's beautiful glass love the glass steel chassis it's timeless big fan of psu shrouds with basements it's nice that there's ventilation you can mount the the drives up here and then it also has space in here so you can utilize it for water cooling or cables i like the rgb integration it's 
different, it's unique. I like that the tempered glass sits on this little ledge here and then it's not, I'm not worried about it falling off as soon as I take off the thumb screws. I like the back panel, how it has the button to unlocked the back panel. Overall, it looks like a great case. I'm excited to do a build in here. That build will be coming up very soon. We're gonna do a build without water cooling first, and then very likely we're going to do a water cooled build in here, and it may in fact become my primary computer. So that one will be getting special treatment, as you can assume, I'm sure. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this first impressions of the NZXT H700i. If you're not subscribed to the channel, do so. I am pumping out some videos lately and I have a ton more things coming. So stay tuned for that. And you can hit that little bell notification thing because I know I post kind of irregularly, sometimes on Mondays, sometimes on Saturdays, sometimes randomly. So if you hit the bell notification, it'll let you know when I post. So then you don't miss them. And if you're not already subscribed to me on social media, my Twitter, and Instagram links are in the description below. Once again, thank you so much for NCXC for sending this case, and thank you for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye!